Seated on top of you, I ride like a jockey, and I ask you, would you bet on me to win? Of course, you tell me. I love you. I dismount and walk away. I'm sorry, I say, but I always lose. I just went to the bar, you know, got myself a six beer. I got really wasted. But then I was confident. I just went, went up to her and I was like, hey, you want a drink? And then boom, next thing I know, we were just in the bathroom. She was jerking me off, you know? And then I went down on her. And um, you know what? I was, I was never really scared, you know? I was really confident. I had watched all my dad's porn and uh, honestly, porn is all what you need. And uh, I, I knew how to work my thing, so. And then she gave me a blowjob, dude. She knew how to do it. I'm gonna tell you, man, it was the best blowjob I've ever gotten in my life. But then the best part came, you know. She came to my ear, started licking it. And then she whispered something in French. Something really powerful. She said, J'ai envie de toi. J'ai trop envie de te baiser. I was 16, she was the perfect girl, nice, cute, older, she had a car, I was like young, stupid, I had no car, I couldn't even take the train, she had to pick me up all the time, and I was a virgin, she was not a virgin, I lied to her and told her I was not a virgin. I had no confidence. And then one day uh, she decided we should have sex and she took my penis. And um, I didn't know what to do, so I just went back and forth and I slipped. And I, um, I realized that some blood was coming out of her vagina and she was like, what the fuck, I don't have my period. And, and I realized that my, my penis was actually bleeding in her vagina. And, and I freaked out. I was almost crying and she was like laughing and she thought it was really funny. She's the kind of girl that thinks that everything's funny. Um, you know, so I, you know, I, I said, call the hospital and she, she said, don't worry, you don't need to go to the hospital for that. I had blood all over my hands. And I went downstairs to clean it up, and my brother was there, and he looked at me, and I said, Oh, she's got her period. Huh? I never lost my virginity. Uh, I'm a virgin, you know. I, I think that women are bad at heart. I, I tried once when, uh, when I was 15. I was dating this girl, Colleen. Uh, we had common ground at first, but uh, by the end of it, it was mutual. We had nothing in common. She had, she had bad breath, too. Every time she would try to have sex, I would just call it off and pretend I had something really important to do, and, uh, and then she dumped me. Three months later, I went out with this, uh, with this other girl, and uh, she had bad breath. I just couldn't deal with it. Uh, th that's when I realized that people just stink, besides being stupid. I mean, did you know that the survey states that 25% of women would rather win America's next top model than a Nobel Peace Prize? That's how bad they stink. But I mean, they, they actually, they really stink too. I mean, they, they smell bad.
I didn't really know what anything meant at the time. I lived in the woods with my mom and her boyfriend, and my only friend was her boyfriend's nephew. We were playing some game where we would be a couple. I was the girl and he was the man. We really didn't know what we were doing. I was eight the first time I ended up naked in his bed. I would rub my penis on his till I would feel something weird going through my whole body, like a flame going from my penis to my brain. And then I would stop, suddenly. He once said, why do you always walk away like that? And I just said, shut up, and left the room. I always had the feeling I was doing something wrong, but I didn't know why. Someday I woke up with my penis all blue. I thought I was being punished for getting naked in another guy's bedroom. A couple weeks later, some kids found out at school, and one of them called me gay. I was offended. To me, gay was just an insult. Nothing, nothing related to me. Feel the power in me. One day I'll grow up. Of this I'm sure. One day I'll grow up. I'm no womb within me. One day I'll grow up. Feel it full and pure. But for today, I'll 